You can't overwind the clock, but you can stress the key or the arbor by trying to take it past fully wound. Okay, if your clock is having a tendency to stop after it's been wound, the main springs are sticky. They're sticking together. The lubrication is dirty and dry, and that is an indication it's time to get it serviced, not that you've overwound your clock. One thing I want to mention about wall clocks, they are not like a picture. Since you're winding them, you're going to be putting torque on what they're hanging on, so they need to be on a screw that's in a stud. You can't just use a molly bolt in a drywall in the drywall and expect it to stay there. It will eventually come off the wall. So if you're hanging a clock, cuckoo clock, wall clock, it needs to be on a screw that's in a stud. Now then, when we wind the clock, we need to have the proper key. The key needs to fit the arbor square fairly closely. So we'll check that. This one is really loose. Zoom in just a little so you can see the floppiness here. Okay, that's too loose. That's a number seven key. We'll try a number six. That's a little better, but that's still too loose. And I'm checking this direction, not, not around and around, but the twist. There's play in it. So let's go to a number five. And that's better. Very little twist. It's still easy to get on and off. Check both sides then to make sure that it fits both sides. Okay. And again, the winding technique is push, turn, gently let it back. Push, turn, gently let it back. Different clocks wind different directions. This one happens to, both of them are going counterclockwise. There are some that wind towards the middle of the dial. So each clock is a little different. Now this is called a single end key because it just has a single end. There are other keys, different styles, which have double ends. Here is a clock which requires a double ended key. You can see it has a large end for winding the main wheels, time and strike again, but it also has a smaller end and that's for adjusting the rate there's a small square right up here above the 12 that this key fits onto and rotating that one direction or the other causes the speed to increase or decrease the rate at which the pendulum swings so that that's the fast slow adjuster the clock is not meant to be wound with the small end of the key one other style of key that I wanted to show you is the crank key. This is designed for use on clocks that have weights but are cable driven. So rather than like that cuckoo clock where we pulled on the chains, these clocks have cables and you would wind them up much like you would a spring driven clock, only you'd use a crank key okay, to wind the weight up.